Hello, today's Bible study comes from the book of Luke, chapter 16. And it's a short one, just verses 16 through 18. And it's really just additional teachings. Excuse me, and it reads as follows. The law and the prophets were proclaimed until John. Since that time, the good news of the kingdom of God is being preached. And everyone is forcing their way into it. It is easier for heaven and earth to disappear than for the least stroke of a pen to drop out of the law. Anyone who divorces his wife and marries another woman commits adultery, and the man who marries a divorced woman commits adultery. So, when we get to this, this is extra teaching, but it's not teaching that Jesus isn't isn't going to stop doing. The law of the prophets were unto John, as it said. The law of the prophets were unto John. And Jesus indicated that the ministry of John the Baptist marked an ending to one of the great aspects of God's work. Um, since that time, and that's the time ending with his ministry, the good news of the new covenant is presented with an order that is different than law. Yet it does and has fulfilled the law. Jesus fulfills the law. The kingdom of God has been preached and everyone is pressing into it. In Jesus' day, there were hundreds of situations where people were willing to use violence to bring this kingdom of God to fruition. But God is not violence. While we do not... Um, want the violence, nor should we imitate this violence. We should imitate their dedication. We should be dedicated to God, and we should be willing to sacrifice, and we should have passion and desire to see God's true reign, his His kingdom in us, his kingdom present in present day times. We should be looking for it. And even though we are not at a hopefully violent war, we are at war. We are at war with this world. We are at war with the adversary. And we call upon the Lord to fight our battles. We just don't, it tells you, we don't have that desire that we should have. And we need to have it. It is easier for heaven and earth to pass away from one little, one tittle of the law to fail. Mm. Jesus was just saying that he didn't want you to think that the new aspect of God's work ignored or neglected the law. It did not. It fulfilled the law. The law couldn't be filled because man was not obedient. Jesus fulfilled the law because Jesus was obedient. Period. Man was not. And the new order that we go into is not of rebellion. It, it, in fact, it is opposite. That It's a submission. And like I said, it's an obedience to God. And Jesus' new order fulfills this law. God's new order fulfills this law because of obedience and submission to him. If you notice, Jesus gave everything to God in prayer and homage. He never took credit for doing anything from blessing food to teaching you parables to praying every day, to healing, to loving, to having compassion. Jesus gave all glory to God. And when we self-edify, we don't truly send the glory to where it's supposed to go. And that's up to the Father. Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits an adultery. This was an example. The law concerning marriage is still binding. It is. And we all fall short. I have fallen short. No matter how some try to explain it away, marriage is marriage. Woman Man is marriage. So it tells you that you will commit adultery in these things. 
Jesus, since Jesus also taught that sexual morality was ex was acceptable grounds for divorce. Yeah, that is. And later, the Apostle Paul added that the desertion by an unbelieving spouse was also an acceptable reason. Because of those two clear allowances, we must regard Jesus' command to refer to the one who divorces his wife without biblical cause and marries another, that this one commits adultery. Amen.